It's the book of Deuteronomy. Then Lord Yahweh told me to get two more stone tablets and go back up that holy mountain. Also, to make an ark out of wood. Let me guess. Was it shittim wood? Hey, shut up, Satan. It was made out of acacia wood. So I went up that sacred mountain again for 40 more literal days and nights. Not no upteen bajillion zillion thingy that you keep saying. And Lord Yahweh inscribed the Ten Commandments on these new tablets. And I went down that mountain and I put those tablets in that ark. Just like Lord Yahweh told me to. Then, Brother Aaron died. And then Lord Yahweh told the Levites that they had special jobs, like carrying the ark into battle and stuff. That's why the Levites don't get inheritance like the other tribes do, because they have special jobs. So you peoples, you need to serve Lord Yahweh with all your heart and soul. You need to obey his decrees and commands. Lord Yahweh created the heavens and all the stuff in it, like the sun and moon and stars in that firmament dinghy. Though Lord Yahweh made all that stuff in the heavens, he still cares about what you worthless peoples do on earth in the Middle East. So circumcise your metaphorical hearts for Lord Yahweh, because he is the God of gods and Lord of lords. Wait, wait, wait. So is G-Man the only God, or is he like the best God among the other gods? Which is it, Looney Tunes? Hey, I told you to shut up, Satan. Lord Yahweh is great and mighty and awesome. He defends widows and squalling brats and orphans and even stupid foreigners who live among you. Remember, you stupid peoples. You were once foreigners in Egypt, and Lord Yahweh performed all those miracles and wonders, mostly for his own PR, so that all will know that he is the Lord but also to set you guys free from Egyptian slavery. Now you guys number more than the stars in the sky. Ugh, didn't we already go over this, Looney Tunes? Hey, look, minions. Check this picture out. It's Pluto. Isn't he cute? Hey, I'm talking over here, Satan. Important Bible stuff. Get out of here with your satanic illusions and distractions. Sorry folks, no Pluto for you I guess. Likely I just put that up here, kinda like I hide all the dinosaur bones. You peoples need to remember that your squalling brats weren't the ones who witnessed Lord Yahweh's miracles and wonders. Your squalling brats didn't witness what Lord Yahweh did to Pharaoh, the Egyptians, and Pharaoh's army. Your children didn't walk for 40 years in the desert and witness Lord Yahweh's miracles where Lord Yahweh burned people to death or had the earth swallow them up. If you don't follow Lord Yahweh's commands, then I, Moses, the mostest, humblest, and holiest of Lord Yahweh's prophets has given you, then you won't be able to defeat the people who are already living in the land that Lord Yahweh is giving you, the land of milk and honey. Remember, Lord Yahweh sends the rains. You're going to need rain when you want to grow crops and stuff. Your cows and sheep and goats will need to eat grass, too. You will be tempted to follow other fake gods and you will make Lord Yahweh angry. You don't want to see Lord Yahweh when he's angry. Write these words on your metaphorical hearts and tie them around your physical hands and foreheads. Not too tight though because you gotta let the blood circulate properly. Remember again to write all my laws on the door frames of your houses and constantly tell your squalling brats about it. Also. Put my Ten Commandments monuments in front of all your courtrooms. You are Lord Yahweh's nation. If you do what Lord Yahweh tells you, then he will fight for you against the people who are already living in this land that Lord Yahweh promised you. So remember all you peoples, when you enter these lands of the peoples who are already living there that Lord Yahweh has promised you their land, destroy all of their idols and high mountains. And always remember to give Lord Yahweh slaughter blood sprinkle sacrifices from your flocks and herds. Seriously, minions, Looney Tunes endlessly repeats himself throughout Deuteronomy. He's a total broken record. Rejoice before Lord Yahweh with your squalling brats and your slaves and your servants and foreigners among you. Do all the slaughter blood sprinkle sacrifices that you're supposed to do for Lord Yahweh, but don't drink any blood. 
icky and gross. You pour that blood on the ground. Do not worship the gods in the lands that you are conquering. Do not even ask about those gods. People in those lands burn their squalling brats to these gods. These false gods are evil in the eyes of Lord Yahweh. So, when G-Man told Abraham to sacrifice his son that one time, Shut up, Satan! You don't know what you're talking about! Out of context and stuff!